Hi everyone, this is Brooke Bradley from Background Data. This video is going to show you some of the things you'll need to know when transitioning from RStudio to RStudio Cloud. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so more people can find it. And if you want to see more videos like it, feel free to subscribe. Happy learning! This is RStudio Cloud. If you don't have an account already, you're going to need to get one set up. Otherwise, you can go ahead and log in. When you sign into your account, you should see something like this. I'd just like to point out real quick that on the left, there's a section for learning resources. Over here, you have an RStudio Cloud Guide, what's new to RStudio Cloud, interactive tutorials, and cheat sheets. If we go back to your workspace, you can create a new project by clicking New Project. Once your project's set up, it's going to look like this. We can now title our project up here. So, Intro R Studio Cloud. Now, if we go back to our workspace, either by clicking your workspace here or by clicking your workspace over here, we can see our project, Intro R Studio Cloud. If we decide we no longer want this project, we can simply click Delete. Now we're going to look at how to do four things. The first is creating and saving an R script. Then we'll look at uploading a CSV file, uploading an R script, and downloading your R script to your computer. Let's begin by creating and saving an R script. If you only have three panels here, like I do, you can create an R script simply by clicking this icon. Your fourth panel will drop down and your R script will automatically be created. In order to save it, you can click the floppy disk icon. We'll title this Intro Cloud. And save. So we now have our R script saved within our project. If you already have four panels like this, you can create a new R script with this drop down. Select R script. And then hit the floppy disk icon. Now, Let's say we want to work with a CSV file that's downloaded on our desktop. We can't exactly access that file through here. What we need to do is we need to upload the data to the cloud. We'll look at this bottom right panel over here. If the Files tab is not clicked on, click on the Files tab. Go to Upload. Whatever file we choose will go in cloud slash project. So if you want a new location, you can browse there. We'll click choose file and select the cars2 CSV file. Click open and OK. We now have cars2 uploaded from our desktop to our studio cloud. However, if we want to do something like plot cars2, it says cars2 is not found. That's because we haven't placed the CSV file into our global environment. One of the easier ways to do this is click the CSV file, click import dataset, It says we need the following packages. Would we like to install them? Let's go ahead and click yes. 
We'll give it a minute to do its thing. This is a preview of our data. We don't actually need this column x1. This is simply the row numbers. So we're going to click this drop down and select skip. Now we're going to import and our cars2 data is in our global environment. So now when we plot cars2, it shows up. Let's say we also wanted to upload an R script. We can do that in the same way that we uploaded our data, except this time we'll click Upload and we'll choose an R file. Let's choose Intro to R Studio Cloud, Open, OK, and we see it here in our project. If we want to open this, we just click it and it shows up over here. So now let's plot cars 2 and then we'll save. If this is a school assignment, you might need to turn in an R script to your Blackboard, your Canvas, or maybe even email it to your professor. In that case, you might be interested in downloading this R script from RStudio Cloud to your desktop. Again, we'll go to Files. We're going to click on our Intro to RStudio Cloud script, navigate to this More dropdown, and select Export. We'll click Download and show in Finder. We can see here that our script is now in our downloads folder. From here, we can move it wherever we would like. I'm gonna move it to my documents. Since I updated this file in our Studio Cloud, I'm simply going to replace it. And I can now see it in my documents folder. If I click this, I can see what it looks like. So it started off by saying plot cars and now it says plot cars too. I can now email this file or upload it wherever I need to. And those are some of the basics on how to use our Studio Cloud. Thanks for watching.